Good day, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about a problem in binomial probability distribution. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Nope, not this one. Let me share my computer screen with you. So here it is. The probability that screws manufactured by machine to be defective is 1 over 50. A lot of six screws were taken at random. Find the probability that part A, there are exactly two defective screws in the lot, B, no defective screws, and C, at most, two defective screws. So this is a binomial distribution problem. Okay, so binomial distribution boss problem, binomial distribution problem, why, because there are two possible, there are two possible two possible outcomes. All of these, one is defective. And probability of defective small p is equal to one over 50 or 0 0.02. And the other outcome is no, not defective. Okay. My number of trials N is number of trials of trials is six. Okay. Okay. And <clears throat> part A says Probability X is two, exactly two defective, okay? So we can use the formula, okay? And the formula is N, C, X, P to the power of X, one minus P to the power of X, which translates to, in this case, my N is six, combination x I'm trying to find two defective probability and my small p is 0 0.02 raised to the power of x is again x is two defective so I'm um, the first term is the number of ways in which I can select two defective out of six without regards to the order inside the two selected and then multiplied by probability of finding a defective is 0 0.02 exponent is two, x is two, two defective. Okay, and then one minus 0 0.02 raised to the power of, and this should be n minus x. Okay, so n minus x means six minus two. So let me correct this. The exponent in the second term is n minus x. Okay, so I can use my calculator to find these terms. So let's find first combination of six a combination of two items taken from six without regard to the order in the two. So this is six. I have a TI-84 calculator. So after six, I'll press the math key. And then scroll down to, uh, not scroll down, math key. I will uh, highlight P-R-O-B. So let me write the steps here. Six, math then highlight P-R-O-B, okay? So 
this is uh, i'm finding 6 c2 okay p r o b and then i scroll down to n c r which is uh, number 3 option okay so and then in my calculator screen i will get uh, 6 ma uh, c and something flashing over here and i'll make it 6 c 2 and hit enter so I'll type 2 inside the flashing square and hit enter and the answer is 15 okay so we create some space So, probability of x equal to 2 is 6c2 times 0 0.02 raised to the power of 2 and then 1 minus 0 0.02 is 0 0.98 raised to the power of 4. So, this is equal to 15 multiplied by 0 0.02 square which is point zero 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 four times point nine eight and then press the exponent key and four exponent is four it is point nine two two point nine two two so probability of x equal to 2 is 15 multiplied by 0 0.0004 multiplied by 0 0.922 and the answer is 0. 0, 0, 0.0055 five. okay did i do it correctly check so i have a ti84 calculator and i can check on that also how i'll show you in a minute so px equal to 2 by calculator x equal to 2, exactly 2, by calculator. And that will be, uh, so first I will press uh, second, so I'll write the cal functions in the calculator, second key, then verse key, okay so second key and then verse key okay and then i scroll down to binom pdf scroll down so i'll show it by arrow going down to binom pdf pdf okay and hit enter okay so enter after we get binom pdf then number of trials is six because total number is six six screws probability of success or in this case finding the defective p is 0 0.02 0 0.02 yeah 0 0.02 and then x value is exactly two so type uh, 0 0.02 for p and x value is exactly 2 and then i scroll down to paste and hit enter and enter whenever we are in paste enter and enter and the answer is 0 0.005 so let me create some space same as what we got before.
So, answer probability of x equal to 2 is 0 0.0055 by the calculator also. Okay. So, that's part A. Okay. Now, let's take a look at uh, part B. No defective screws. Okay. So, part B, no defective screws means P x equal to 0. No defective screws. Defective screws. So, if I use the formula, this is uh, probability of x equal to 0 is equal to n c x small p raised to the power of x and then 1 minus p raised to the power of n minus x. So, my n 6 screws 0 defective, p is 0 0.02 raised to the power of 0 and then 1 minus 0 0.02 raised to the power of n is 6 minus 0. So, this will be equal to, I will use my calculator to do this, 6, then math, uh, then PROB, then I scroll down to number 3, and 0, and hit enter, and 6 C 0 is 1, multiplied by 0 0.02 raised to the power of 0 is also 1, and then I have 0.98 raised to the power of 6. So 0.98, 1 minus 0 0.02 being 0.98, exponent 6. And this is equal to 0.8858. So the answer for P x equal to 0 is 0 0.8858. I will check that with my calculator too. So let me create some space. So, part B by calculator. Is uh, second. Is uh, even follow the procedure. So, it will be binome PDF. N is 6, probability of success is 0 0.02 and I want no defective. So my X is 0. So let's see how much is it. Second verse, I scroll down to binome PDF. Hit enter. Number of trials is 6. And X value is 0. And I paste enter and enter. And it is same answer, 0 0.8858. So, whether you use the formula or you use the calculator, you get the same answer. Probability of finding no defective, that means x equal to 0, is 0 0.8858. Now, let's look at, take a look at the part C. So part C, so it's called up part C, at most two defective screws. So part C, okay, so. Part C is probability at most means less equal to 2. That means probability of 0 plus probability of 1 plus probability of 2. 
this is the symbol for at most two that means the maximum value of defective or maximum number of defective is two but it could be zero it could be one and it could be two and we are adding them up because these are mutually exclusive events and x less equal to means probability of zero or probability of zero or probability of one or probability of two now since these are exclu mutually exclusive events uh, in order to find the union or P0 or P1 or P2, we basically add them three together. This comes from the general rule of addition of probability for mutually exclusive events. Now, there is a function in the calculator which we can use to find the three probabilities taken from 0 up to 2, and that is called binom CDF and the order is N, P and X, X being the last number which we are adding from zero. So in this case, it will be binom CDF. Uh, N is uh, <clears throat> six. My probability of success is 0 0.02 and at most two, that means I'm adding from zero to two. So I put the last number two as x and then i calculate it okay so how do i get binom cdf same idea second verse so i'll write it down second verse and you can scroll down to binom cdf so second Worse, binom CDF is after binom PDF in the list. So go to binom CDF and hit enter. Trials is, um, so trials is uh, 6. P e is 0 0.06, I mean point zero 0.02. 6 is number of trials, probability of success is point zero 0.02. And X is, we are adding up to 2. Then paste, enter and enter. Okay, so number of trials is 6, probability of success is 0 0.02. Let me make sure that we got it 0 0.02, okay, 0 0.02, and x value we are adding from 0 to 2, so the last value is 2, and then I do paste, enter, and enter, and if I create some space here, So probability of x less equal to 2 is equal to point zero point nine 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 eight at most 2. Okay, so I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, you can always write me a note. The tip I wanted to give you is that when it says at most Okay, that means we, the maximum number in this case was 2. That means we add from 0 to 2. Now, if it says at least 2, that means 2 is the lowest number. In that case, if we want to find out probability of at least 2, then we will find the probability starting from 2 up to 6 in this case. Probability of 2 plus probability of 3 plus probability of 4 plus probability of 6 at Least 2 means the lowest number is 2, the highest number is n, which is 6. So probability of 2 plus probability of 3 plus probability of 4 plus probability of 5 plus probability of 6. This is different from uh, at most 2, which is probability of 0 plus probability of 1 plus probability of 2, which we just now did. So there is a di difference between at most 2 and at least 2, as I've just told you in the tip. So I will see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. In the meantime, if you like this video, please share with your friends and please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I will see you next time. I come back every day with new problem, new solution. So don't miss me next time. Okay. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.